Good morning, welcome back. I'm at Doncaster Station because I'm here to pick up my friend Heather. Now Heather is a musician, she's a fantastic musician. She's a songwriter, she's a singer, and she's up in Doncaster for the weekend so we can work on some music stuff together. So I'm trying to meet her on the platform but I am running a little bit late so fingers crossed I can actually get there in time. I don't know how I missed you. <laughs> so Heather's here for the weekend to do some writing, but, well, first of all, hello, Heather. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why this has taken the form of an interview. I feel like I'm on, on this morning. <laughs> <laughs> how has that happened? <laughs> so how have we arrived at this point? That's probably an interesting discussion, isn't it? So how did, how did this start? How did, do you remember how we met? Steampunk musical. Oh yes. The classic way to make new friends. Absolutely. <laughs> Just like being in the band of a steampunk musical and you, when, in fact, was it the day of your, it was the day of your graduation that we met. That we first met, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was the dress rehearsals. Yeah. I remember just being like, someone said, oh yeah, Heather's going to be here for the first time today because we'd been in the, the band, hadn't we? Mm. But we'd not gone to those rehearsals. Yeah. And we were sat there and, um, I think me and Sam Roberts were sat in one of the practice rooms and we didn't know what you looked like. And obviously you came in in full <laughs> Oxford graduation gear, just like <laughs> black and white, just like, yeah, that'll be Heather then, you know. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that must be her. And then, of course, we had that week in Edinburgh. And then after that, there was kind of, there's kind of a bit of a gap, isn't there? We saw each other at the fringe of the year after that. There were a few following year fringe Edinburgh meetup, yes, I think. Yes, of course. Because I did one year after that performing with a different of course group. you were with um like bobby and um what was the name of the group well the show was called from the horse's, the horse's mouth. mouth yeah okay which was a and this is, i have to remember my my sales patter from the royal mile what was it it was a hip-hop jazz and spoken word oh there we go hip -hop yeah that jazz and well. spoken word collective yeah i think was the uh the official title which is not very easy to get to people no probably. absolutely like, yeah what do you do well <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me tell you. That was one of those weird things, wasn't it? Because from that point on, you didn't come the year after that, did you? The year after oh, no, you I did. came, yeah, I just came as a spectator. Yes, because that was when I was up without the blue, wasn't it? Yeah. For the first yeah. time, but then you weren't the year after. But it became weird because we only ever saw each other in Edinburgh <laughs> at that particular time of year. And then obviously now, like you come up here and we do this and stuff like that. And I obviously haven't been to London in a while. Did I'm just trying to think when it started in terms of the idea of us writing together. Would that just stem from conversations that we had with each other? I think so, because I think I'd written, back when we were at uni, I'd written the song Billboards at the Crossroads, yeah. which you then Cover. covered. Yeah. And Because that, that was about a year later you covered it, I think, as well. So yeah, that kind that of, rings a bell. I guess that opened up the dialogue a bit because yeah. you asked if you could cover it and I was like, of course, that's incredibly flattering. <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> like, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. um, and yeah, I think it just kind of went from there, didn't it, really? Yeah, that would make sense, because after imagine. that you've you've had released little things as you've gone along, haven't you? Like when you've written a song, you've put it out there, and I think we've just sort of shared what we've written with each other over the last few years, and it's sort yeah. of naturally led to this. I'm just trying to work out why you haven't appeared in this before. I don't know. I think it maybe was just where didn't, it lined up on a weekend. Didn't want to film me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you said, turning away. Was like, ah. You posted a vlog while I was up, yes. so that you had one that it makes clearly sense. was ready to go. Yeah. Fine, won't be in it. Fine. I think one of the things that we realised when you were up last time is that we just click in that sense. We we produced something last time we were together and we've just been listening to it in the last couple of hours and we still think it's good. Which never happens, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there we go. It's just like, what's so that's four months later. Yeah. There you go. That's a good gap as it far is. as I'm concerned. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I think what we've found today as well is that I write from a very melodically driven pace, place, yeah. and you write from a very harmonically driven place. Yeah. And then that's quite, that works quite nicely together. Yeah, exactly. In combo, they kind of fit together, which is good. No, totally. And it's like, and we've... <laughs> always picked that muck up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just every just time. Just one no in. <laughs> <laughs> every single time, pick a different mug up. <laughs> it's like the amount of stuff in here that just needs clearing out. It's just... That's creative space though, isn't it? Exactly, that is it. You see, she understands. It wouldn't be is a it? creative space if it was keen. No, exactly. And also, the like, at least the window's open. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good Thank start. Thank God for small mercies. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so this morning, 
I am introducing Heather to the Yorkshire Wildlife Park, which is like a Doncaster rite of passage when people come to visit it. <laughs> Doncaster rite of passage. <laughs> we didn't get to go last time, did we either? No, so. we didn't, we ran out of time. So, let's go and see some animals. Hey! It is so miserable out there today. The rain is really coming down. It's quite a nice day to be in the studio, to be totally honest with you. So Heather left yesterday. We had a fantastic time writing over the weekend, and I really can't wait for you to hear what we've been working on, but it's gonna take a little bit longer to get it ready. In the meantime though, the adventure really does continue, because tonight I'm going to Oxford. And the reason I'm going there is because Lizzie and Tim are moving out of their flat. So I'm gonna go and help them move out, but yeah busy week. So the plan is when I finish work tonight to just jump in the car and head down there. So I should arrive there late this evening. Good morning. I just started my day in a way that I never ever would have done when I actually lived here. I've been running up and down Headington Hill. Now those of you who've lived in Oxford or have ever been to Oxford will know exactly what Headington Hill is like. And yeah, it was quite something doing it this morning. But I thought that was a good way to start the day, doing something that I've never ever done before. And I feel pretty good for it actually. It was a decent morning for a run. It's exactly the right temperature out there, but it's not in here. I'll tell you what, I'm really warm now. So Liz, you're moving out. How does it feel? Um, that's a mix of emotions really. Yeah? I'd be happy to, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be happy to like, unpack just because this is such a hassle. Yeah, that's really? fair. But it's quite sad, really. Yeah, it's the end of an era. So, Tim, it's the end of an era. How do yeah, you feel? Sad. I mean, it's, you know, this has been our flat for so long, and it's, yeah, it's sad to say sorry, but it's the opening of a new chapter in our lives. Exactly. Now I'm starting a job, Ooh, and this is going on to a final year at university, so it's, it's bittersweet, I say, but at the moment we're mainly in the bitter part of it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> FYI, Lin Manuel Miranda's already bought the rights for this story. So. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Fair yeah, enough. of course he has. Symbolic moment then. Oh, that's <laughs> Face <laughs> there you go. Like the hair Tim's not Tim staying here hair forever, hair. it's worth saying that. He's moving out slightly later today. Goodbye yeah. then. Bye. Bye, cool Bye. So the car's all loaded up. Lizzie's just gone to go and take a picture of the uh, the front door, symbolically, which is nice. Here we go. You ready? Hi, didn't see you there. <laughs> I just looked back in the window and I could hear Tim's voice so clearly. And I couldn't see him. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we're back in Doncaster. It's uh, it's been a fairly easy journey back up. Just enjoying some tuna pasta now, having a little bit of a break. But I'm not actually going to be in Doncaster for that long because tomorrow morning, very very early, I'm driving up to Newcastle. Two of my favourite places in one week. How amazing is that? Obviously, I'm going to see Adam when I go up there, which will be great. Great to see him again. And naturally, I'm really looking forward to it because yeah, Newcastle is just a fantastic place. But at the same time, I am very, very tired, so I'm looking forward to finishing work tonight so I can actually go to bed, ready to be up early, bright and early in the morning. Welcome to Newcastle. It's a beautiful day here, it really is. In fact, I'm pretty much gonna have a cup of tea with Adam and then go for a run straight away, just because it's the perfect weather for it. But we have really been blessed to this day. In fact, that might be Adam now. Oh, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? There's a, obviously I've just got a, a cool shot going that way mm. as well. But it's just like, it's, it looks like there's like a kind of a mirror on the time. Just, I mean, obviously I know that it's like, that's what water yeah, does. Yeah, so this is what I've said to the other day. I've said this quite frequently, like I'll, the one of the reasons I think the sunsets look so amazing here is because you get them twice. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually a really good run, probably one of my best ones in the last few months. And I think it was totally made by the fact that I was running along the Tyne. It's such a scenic route and I genuinely think that makes a big difference when you're running. I think sometimes it's great to go out there and just enjoy it. And when the scenery is as good as that, it's a fantastic run. 
I'm not really bothered about the pace that I did it at, but it was actually quite a good pace for me. So there you go. Great way to start the day. Honestly, this is one of my favorite places in the world. There's something about Newcastle that's just so magical, you know? And it was great to go for a run here. I can tick that off. And I'm definitely gonna do it again at some point. Who knows, maybe even tomorrow. But what a week it's been. Two of my favorite places in one week. Honestly, I can't believe it. It's been such a fantastic week. I'm so tired now, but honestly, it's been so worth it. It always feels bad leaving Oxford and leaving Newcastle. But I had to come back because I've got another adventure coming up this weekend. But unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in this week's vlog. So you'll have to tune in next week to find out what that adventure is. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.